we're going to make Italian Anginetti cookies. They're primarily frosted with a pink or a white glaze. So let's get started. First you're going to need a large bowl and you're going to start off with three large eggs that I've had at room temperature, a half a cup of milk, and two teaspoons of almond extract. And with my hand mixer, now you can use this for your stand mixer if you want. I just want to combine it real well. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of granulated sugar. And again, I'm going to blend that on about medium. Next, you're going to need a half a cup of canola oil. And I'm going to beat that in. This is a really quick recipe and easy. You can see what it looks like so far. And now you're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to do a little at a time and start off at low until I use up all the flour. And that was three cups of all-purpose flour. That's the rest of the flour. I'm going to raise my speed a little bit and I'm going to mix it and blend it. The last thing that you're going to put in is eight teaspoons of baking powder. That was eight teaspoons. And we're going to just mix this. I'm going to raise my speed to finish this up. Work the sides of my bowl. I'm going to show you what it looks like in just a second. And just mix it so you know that everything's well combined. And that might take you a minute or two to do that. All right, now once you do that, I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to clean the sides of my bowl first with my spatula and get down to the bottom. Now this a cookie is going to be very, very wet and sticky. So um, you're going to use actually a teaspoon to put it on your cookie tray with. So lightly spray your um, tray with um, your oil spray and just take a rounded teaspoon and put it on your cookie tray about two inches apart from one another. Now these cookies, you're going to yield 60 cookies. So you're going to yield about five dozen of them. Try to round them off as best as you can. Now these cookies are going to spread out. You want them to be as round and even as you can to get them in the pan. So they're going to look like that. Now when they're finished, and I bake some ahead of time to show you, this is exactly how they're going to come out. They're going to be very light and very airy, a nice golden brown on the bottom. What you'll want to do is to mix up a glaze for them. And what I did was I actually combined two cups of powdered sugar to five teaspoons of water. Now what I would do is start your, tea, your uh, tablespoons, I'm sorry, tablespoons, that was incorrect. A five tablespoons. Start putting in about three and then decide how thick or thin you want your glaze. But this is how mine came out. Now once you do that, if you want to do both colors, of course, you're going to separate your glaze into another bowl and then you're just going to add some pink food coloring to it to make it pink. And you can set that aside. All you have to do is take your cookie, 
and then just dip it into your glaze, take the excess off your bowl, and then put them on a tray to drip and dry. Well, there you go. A great cookie, especially with coffee or hot chocolate or even hot tea. Hope you like this recipe. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.